here for 23 years, you know, none stopping Belfast, longest man doing it, you know. But this year I decided just to watch all, you know, for a change. Wouldn't it not be easier to sit at home and watch it on television? No, it's not the same. You couldn't, couldn't even beat this site. I don't know why Walt Disney ever missed anything like this, page like this, the site. What? People say. Most people take their holidays around this time. I mean, why come over to somewhere like Belfast? Well, oh, I don't like my holidays. This is my holiday year. I thought you always my holiday. I wouldn't miss it for no day. Are you giving up a lot to come over here? I give up job to come here. You have not. Yes. Give up job, pack them in and come to the trouble, you like. We've been, we've been up to my feet. I don't want to come here. As long as I get here, I wouldn't miss it for no day. Went to those extremes? It's the greatest sight in the world. Why? What makes it so special here? I we don't know. have marks in Glasgow. I know, but this is something, this is something you can't beat. It's a wonderful sight. The people here are loyal and you can't be loyal people, you know. No, really magic, really magic, magic. And we're just coming into district number eight now. We've moved through number six and number seven. And that gentleman who was talking to Rita, I wonder if it's George Gilmore, because I got a letter from a gentleman in Scotland who was marching here in years gone by. In fact, he said he hadn't missed a 12 in 38 years. He used to come over in the old boats from Broomelaw. <laughs> Remember that? And to Mark Rossen. He used to walk with the Prince Charles Band from Scotland. He said this year he's uh, over here as a spectator. So if that wasn't George, George is out there somewhere. The Coot Memorial Centre is preceded by the Shango Road Rangers girls accordion band. This is another relatively small district, uh, only five lodges in district number eight. There's John Carson, the Lord Mayor of Belfast, for a uh, second term office. Woodville Park Church Defenders, to Absalom's Lodge. And Anderson brings the star. So many people make a day of this procession that large areas of Belfast become deserted once the parade leaves and arrive at the field and you will see people back in the city again until about 7 o'clock at night when the bands come back into the centre of town.
white carnation is obviously part of their dress today. That's a new banner you're seeing. Uh, this is Mayo Street Young Men's Faith Defenders from the Shackle Road. I gathered now, uh, this district takes in a great deal of the Shanker Road. He's in a hurry. Maybe the Lodge have left him behind. He's trying to catch up. One way of getting the big bass drum to the field without too much effort, put it on top of a black taxi. I was talking to one of the members of the colour party at the front of the procession and he was telling me just how important it is to have a band and a beat to march to. It makes that walk to the field seem so much shorter. So you can appreciate just how helpful a band with a beat like that must be to the men walking behind it. White Rock Temperance, 974. Where he is, I wonder. Not taking on to his mother. What about these gentlemen being well turned out? All dressed in matching clothes and wear an apron. The Shankill Road Ambassadors. And district number 10. With, interestingly, 10 lodges. Led off by Ballon Fire Apprentice Boys Food Band. People think that the Orange Order started in Ireland. In fact, the order began in England in 1688 and was started at Exeter in Devon and was set up by followers and friends of William of Orange, who became William III. And the order started in Ireland in 1795 in County Armagh. And as I mentioned, the, uh, the triannual this year, it's the triannual get-together of the Orange Lodges from all over the world is being held in Belfast so that in three years' time, in fact, it can be held in Torbay, 1988, to celebrate the tercentenary of the Order's founding not far from there. working now, he's on camera. I don't suppose this would be nearly as much fun for the people watching if it were raining and it did threaten a little earlier but it stayed away so far. Cloudy sky over Belfast today and a little bit of blue coming in as well. You can read a Crimson Star, followed by Omo Apprentice Boys Temperance. It's Lodge 978.
these guys are certainly putting a lot of effort into their action. <laughs> Jigging the street <laughs> uh, with a flag as well. Well, I suppose if he does that the whole way up the Lisburn Road, he'll get there eventually. That's the kind of action that people like to see. Maybe not in every band, but they do see it in a fair number. The Sons of William Flute Band. <laughs> Even the Junior Orange Men getting in as well in the act. Coming down the Lisburn Road this morning, uh, in the very early hours, just after 6 o'clock, you know there were people who had already booked their spaces then, and <laughs> saw deck chairs, uh, admittedly not occupied, but they were sitting there at the side of the road. And many of the people have been gathering around here this morning for hours before the procession even left Carlisle Circus, and it takes about half an hour for it to reach here from Carlisle Circus. in the Pine Lodge, you're saying. And district number 10 is just coming to an end. So we started with 6, we worked our way through to 10. So now we start with district number 1, we'll work our way through to 5. From there. This is district number 1. Neil True Blues accordion band. The corner has become very narrow for the men walking around it. Sure, they're trying to push the back. Well, she's got a slide anyway. think that they all come to Belfast and that's not true. There are 17 other uh, Orange Order demonstrations today, one independent on top of that at Valley Castle. But Scottish bands come over here every year and they divide themselves among the different demonstrations around Northern Ireland today. 